Hey, this is Anthony from Absolute. We watch Decide and Ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the new Alpine Stars Valparaiso 2 jacket, available at Revzilla.com. New for fall of 16, headed into 17, this is the Valparaiso 2. Standing on the shoulders of Alpine Star's major mid-range four-seated adventure. Entry point in 2013, this is the Valparaiso 2, and I like it so much better. This is a big upgrade from a style perspective, from a fit and adjustability perspective, and most, most importantly, from a materials perspective. If we look at the jacket, it is three to four seasons. So you have your bomb-proof outer shell, you're going to have your removable dry star waterproof breathable liner that is now finished and styled, and then you also have a full sleeve thermal that is fully removable. So again, vents open the summer, no liners, you're great for hot weather riding. Vents get closed and there's a ton of them, put the liners back in, I'm sorry, Mother Nature, we can take what you have to handle. And if we look at it for hybrids, Brian to my left, this is the light silver black edition. There's also a more blacked out version and he's also wearing the pants. And the pants have actually gone down 40 bucks and the jacket's gone up about 60 bucks. So the jacket's coming in closer to that $500 range, but all the things they changed about this jacket really warrant that big leap forward. Because again, they've addressed some of our gripes and some of the things we thought were conspicuously missing from the original Valparaiso version one. Now, Quick note on sizing when we look at this four season adventure outfit. High Viz Brian to my left, six foot 195, 42 inch chest. He's an athletic build. He's wearing a size large. Note the adjustability. Now we have another adjuster at the forearm, still an adjuster at the bicep, and there's an adjuster at the waist. Again, no surprises there. Use a the size chart, but I will say the fitment scheme on this, it's less baggy touring. It's a little bit more adventure athletic. So keep that in mind. The previous version was a little baggier. I'm also going to call this out. One of the big changes they made on the new version is they've adjusted the circumference of the collar. There's just a better fit scheme going on by size as you work your way through it. We think about the pants briefly. Watch our detailed breakdown of the pants, but for frame of reference, Hive is Brian's a 35 inch belly button waist, 33 inch jeans. He's wearing a size large. You know, both of these pieces of gear go up to sizes 4XL. You're really looking all in at this $800 multi-season adventure suit where other than the back protector, you don't need to buy anything else. Use the size chart, we'll ship free over 39 bucks. I'd love to even click our logo, subscribe to us at Revzilla on our YouTube channel. Leave me your comments, your questions, your feedback. Now, back in the jacket, let's talk specifically about some of the upgrades here. Now they're using a 600D ripstop material reinforced at your shoulders, at your elbows. That is a nice upgrade from a protection. The original version was positioned as an adventure jacket, but the 500D nylon, in my opinion, in the impact areas was too light, and I believe that we called that out. This takes that next step forward. They've also upgraded the reflective scheme. So you're still gonna see reflective tape pops around this jacket, but now you have mic reflection baked in here as well. So again, just coming together more nicely. If we look at the front, other changes. Now, instead of having these big vented panels fold inward, which was really awkward, now you have them snapping on the outside with a auto-locking zipper here, YKK zip, that allows you to expose this 3D mesh panel flowing air all the way through the jacket. I do have a gripe though, on this left side, there is a waterproof pocket behind it that's baked into the outer shell. So it is gonna limit the ventilation on the left side. Maybe that's an update where Alpine Stars can move that for the Al Valparaiso 3. If we move down, these are waterproof pockets. They change the orientation of the zipper. Still great, zipper garages, waterproof here, done. This big rubberized panel. Zipper endings where they terminate are a place for in, that are pervious to water. You want to have them impervious to water. So if we open this up here, you're going to see waterproof compartment that runs down behind these cargo style pockets. And both these cargo style pockets do have a grommet down here on the outside of each of them. These are non-waterproof pockets. Keep that in mind. Other changes that they made. If we look at the arm, the previous version of the Valparaiso used to have the zipper goes all the way down. It was an auto locker. It actually made the end of this area a little bit clunkier. What they've done is they've simplified. So now I have Velcro. I do have air preen at the end of that cuff for comfort. But what I have is a little bit of a shorter zipper, but it's just easier to operate. And it is direct venting that goes in and up the inside of the arm. So again, you're getting airflow one point, two point, and then on the back, you're gonna see two vertical vents. That's actually when we get to it, the thing that I'm not excited they took away, the entire back of this jacket used to have a big removable back vent panel, and they've actually changed that. Now it's just two vertical vents. I like the configuration of the previous version of hair better, but again, always trade-offs as brands are making iterations and moving their products forward. If we get up here to the collar, and while we're talking grapes, we might as well hit the one of my 
my few other gripes on this jacket. If we open it up, notice it's great. It's got the Adam's apple piece here that's going to make sure it's comfortable against you. Look behind it. It's a big YKK zipper pull, and now we get into our inner liners. Again, everything here works, except for the fact that if I'm riding in summer weight riding or hot times of the year, and I open up my collar, I can't Velcro it down, I can't snap it back, and I can't Velcro it around. There's other manufacturers doing a better job of keeping that flappy dangle up here at the top where it's supposed to go. You love it, flappy dangle. That's a technical term for it. That would be a way that I would improve this jacket moving forward. If I really look at it, I'm happy to see the mic reflection. I'm happy to see it tuned in. I am a fan. The thing I haven't talked about yet though, really coming into play, we are around this $500 mark and you're kind of at this cusp. It's bio armor, CE rated elbow and shoulders. It go elbow and then shoulder, but it also goes down into the forearm on both sides. You can also upgrade with bio air armor, which is CE level two. It does not come stock on this. Turn the face away. Now this is the other piece here. These red reflective, actually they're not reflective, these red taped pops, Buzzsaw and I differ here. He actually looked at it and he said, oh, I don't like it. It's war paint, but it doesn't do anything for me. I kind of dig it. It's a little bit of war paint. In my opinion, the black, white, red, or the silver, the silver, black, and red, to me is one of my favorite colorways from Alpine Star. So you'll see it there, reflective pop on top, and then you have this embossed logo from Alpine Stars right on top of that. It's kind of rubberized and, and, and glued on there. Moving into the elbow, Articulated stretch panel top of the elbow. You have more ripstop material in the 600D poly coming into play, reinforced in your impact area. If Brizzle there up, he raises his arm, you're gonna see you have your cinch around the waist as well. And notice the fit on this. This is going to be a more svelte cut, and you can see how long this goes down to the hip, down under the seat. Again, this is adventure length. And you might as well get a quick shot all the way down the leg there and see how that pant really interfaces with the jacket. Again, it's a really nice looking combo. Kind of reminds me of the baby brother to something like the Revit Sand. Turn backwards for in there, Briz. If Brian turns backwards, this is where I get sad. I have two great back vent zips. They're awesome. Air is going to come in through the arms, it'll come in through the chest, it vents through the jacket with the liners out and it goes out the back. 3D mesh on the inside, they did a good job. The previous version though had a big vent, vented back panel and that vented back panel over top of a back protector, if you're really standing on the pegs working hard on the bike, is going to flow even more air. They chose to go away from it, I'm sure they have their reasons, but again, that would be one of the things on this jacket to where I would say, you know, it'd be great to have that back on the next iteration because again, flowing that air when you're working that hard is a great touch. We look at the back. You're gonna to run to remove this temper foam pad that it comes with, use the Nucleon system to upgrade CE level two across the board. It's not that expensive, under hundred bucks gets you there. And if we look at the collar here, there's one more feature. See me unzipping it right now. I'm not gonna do it all the way up. There is another half inch of extension in this collar. So you have the ability to raise this collar up for inclement weather or winter time riding. And up towards the top here, you do have this kind of fleece line. It's not air preen, it's actually very soft, but it's a wicking material that's gonna be comfortable even when you get it dirty. Moving down here towards the bottom, you do have this rabbit pouch here, this game pouch, and what you'd put in there, it's not a waterproof pouch. Note the vented grommet down here towards the bottom. That's gonna be where you put your liners if you happen to remove them. So all in, you're looking at this very versatile three to four season adventure jacket. Again, I'm a fan of the direction that Valparaiso is going, even knowing they took the price point and juiced $60 on top of the jacket. Again, for the changes they made, I think they're well worth it. Come back around to the front from there, Briz. Let's start on doing this bad boy. So I'm gonna un unzip from up there. Unzip here, move all the way down. Notice the rain gutter system done in dry star. It keeps water away from this massive YKK Vizlon zipper. This is a Napoleon pocket, which is waterproof for your iPhone or I'm assuming you have an iPhone, your smartphone or your wallet or credentials, but it is waterproof and it does sit right behind that vent. So it's gonna block some of the airflow and efficiency of that vent. If I open it up here, notice the way that this is done. From the bottom up, Gonna unzip this side. It is a micro ripstop finished dry star liner. There's your waterproof breathability baked in. And if we move up to the collar, it's also gonna be a collar done in this mesh material, which is wicking and it ties in nicely with the softer collar around in the back. These big pads here are fully removable. That'll take the chest protector system from Alpine Stars, again, allowing you to beef it up. And if I go over to this side, I'm gonna unzip this one as well. Pull this open, you notice pockets on that side as well. Now, getting into it, you have the ability to open this up. Notice spring-loaded snaps all the way down. They're using more premium materials. They are rubberized buttons. They won't scratch anything. This does have a finished element to it. More dry star opens up, exposing a weak point for water to that zipper. That unzips down. That's going to be my waterproof breathable liner. And then again, more micro zip, micro rip stops. So again, you're gonna have the ability to really keep this stuff intact over time. This is your thermal liner. I know you're sweating, Brian, doing a good job here today. Two inches on the waterproof liner, 
maybe about an inch and three quarters on the thermal liner. And notice with that thermal in, it is going to be a fleece line. It is heavy duty. It's micro ripstop and you have fleece up at the collar as well. And you can see he's rocking his suspenders here on the Valparaiso two pants, pulling it all together. And you can see the 360 degree zip here as well. If you want to tie it all in, there's also cinch grommets at the bottom of the jacket, pulling it all together. So all in. Three to four season adventure. This is the best that I've seen from Alpine Stars. They have the Durban, which is the Gore-Tex Big Brother. That's a nice jacket, but I like the fit. I like the protection scheme, and I really like the styling of this. And they've added adjustability and more protection here in your impact areas to really take the Valparaiso to the next level. So all in, I'm a fan. You should definitely check out some of the other more adventure-oriented pieces of gear from Olympia, from Revit, in the same category around this realm. Find the one that's the best fit, as well as the best protection scheme for you. Really make those decisions around whether you want to go to Gore or whether you want to go to CE Level 2 Armor. Again, this guy doesn't have it, but that's the things they consider when you get into this range. It will vent well, and it's really going to cover you from Mother Nature. The next step in your journey is to click the info button, your desktop, your mobile device, visit the product detail page at RevZilla.com, read other rider reviews of the new Alpine Stars Valparaiso 2. You don't have to take my word for it. As always, we'll ship for free over 39 bucks. If you want to talk to a gear geek, see us at RevZilla.com or 877792 9455. Thanks for watching our detail breakdown. Remember, subscribe to us at RevZilla on our YouTube channel. Stay up to date with our opinion on the latest and greatest in the motor universe. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.